In this video, I wanna show you how to print checks from QuickBooks Online. My name is Matt Holquist with the QuickBooks University, and you can see here we have a sample company file. So if you want to print checks from QuickBooks Online, I wanna show you the steps to do that and how to align uh, the checks up to, uh, so they line up on your checks when you print them from a printer. And so the first thing I wanna do here is I wanna to go to pay bills. All right, I want to show you if we choose, let's say that we're going to choose to pay this bill right here to the Brosnahan Insurance Agency. If you print checks from QuickBooks, you're going to make sure that you check this box, print later. If you're not printing, you would do this and put in the check number, but in this case, we are going to print later. And so we want to hit save and close. All right, so as it thinks through this, okay, so now we have this one bill that has to, uh, that has been paid, and now we need to print this check. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna go up to the Quick Create menu and go over to Print Checks. All right, so we have this one uh, check that we need to print, and it's coming from the checking account. Uh, you can put in the starting check number for what your starting check number is. But here's the important part that you want to make sure that you do is you click this print setup button down here. And this is a really important step when you're printing checks from QuickBooks because you, first of all, uh, you want to choose what type of check that you're printing. I prefer the voucher checks, which has one check on top and then two stubs below. But you may have the standard where you have three checks. Either one is fine. This is just what I prefer, the voucher check. The next step is you're going to load blank paper into your printer. And what you want to do, you want to view uh, this print preview of what the check is going to look like. So this is an example of what the check will look like. You're going to print this. All right, let me close this. So go ahead and print that from your printer. And then you want to place the sample on top of a blank check page. So the reason you're doing that, you're holding it up to a light to make sure that uh, the printing and the numbers and everything lines up to your pre-printed checks that you put in your printer. Now, if it doesn't, what you're going to do is click No Continue Setup. So when you go to continue to the setup, you know, you can set up the Adobe Reader, set up the reader as default, and then preview a sample again and hold it up to the light. If it still doesn't line up correctly the way you want it, you're going to click No Continue Setup again. So in this case, at this point, you can fine tune the alignment. So you can drag the grid uh, inside the large square to the place where it appears on your printout. So you, what you can do is you know, drag this so that it shows up how you want it in the box on your pre-printed check when you hold it up to the light. So first of all, you drag that and you can also adjust it like this. Okay, so that you know, if you need it to go up or down, uh, you can do that you know, with some very fine detail right there. So let's say that, let's uh, go right there and let's say that's what we want it to look like. Again, you're going to view a preview and print a sample and make sure that everything matches up. So you're going to print this, hold it up to the light on a blank sheet of paper and make sure everything looks right. Now, once you have done that, you should have everything lined up into your QuickBooks file. So at that point, you say finish setup, and now you get back to the bill print payment screen. So we've got this checked off. We've got our starting check number correct. We're going to preview and print. And it's going to show you a preview of what this is going to look like. So at this point, then you're going to load your checks, your pre-printed checks into your printer. You're going to click print and you'll have your checks. Now, let's say that we uh, printed this check. It's going to say, okay, did your checks print okay? If everything printed correctly, you leave it on this. If it didn't, if you have multiple checks, you would say some checks need reprinting. Uh, and if it just didn't print correctly, you're going to say no, keep all checks in the print checks list. And then you're going to hit done and it'll it'll put them back in the queue to be printed in this example we're going to assume that they all printed correctly we're going to say done you print off the check you make sure that you sign that check 
send it off, uh, do what you need to do with it, and you are done. If you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to leave a comment below. Also, head over to the QuickBooks University website at qbuniversity.org. I've got some additional free videos over there uh, that you can sign up and uh, check those out. These are on the most common errors that a lot of QuickBooks users make and how to avoid them uh, and also become a member over there. And once you become a member, I answer all of your personal QuickBooks questions. Look forward to seeing you there. The website again is qbuniversity.org.